welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and in today's video, we'll be looking at one of the most popular Linux distro that has been making a lot of waves in Linux community. It's currently leading the DistroWatch ranking chart, surpassing the long-standing industry leaders. The distro that I'm talking about is Cache OS. I've been looking forward to trying this Linux distro for a while now. And for the last two weeks, I've been using it as my daily driver. And spoiler alert, I think it is the best desktop Linux distro that I've used this year, hands down. And in this video, I'm going to break down exactly why I think that. And I'll give five reasons why this distro is so special. So let's jump right in. The first reason is the fact that Cache OS is an Arch based Linux distro, which if you're not familiar with Linux, it means that it gets latest cutting edge softwares and features almost immediately after they are released by the developers. Arch Linux is a very popular Linux distro, especially among advanced users, as it offers complete control customization and access to the latest software through a rolling release model. Rolling release basically means that the distro gets constant updates as soon as it is available and there's not a fixed release cycle of six months or a year. However, the problem is Arch Linux isn't suited for newcomers as it requires deep knowledge of Linux technologies, the way Linux distro is bundled and that's where distro like Cache OS comes to the rescue. It makes Arch easier for new user eliminating the steep learning curve. The second reason is the customization options that it provides to the users. The distro is highly customizable and offers wide range of customization options for each component that collectively makes up a Linux desktop. The installation is where you make all the customization decisions. So let's quickly go through the installation of Cache OS. Now before we begin installation, a quick tip, if you're planning to install Cache OS, make sure you disable secure boot from the BIOS before you start the installation, else it gives you an error and I learned it the hard way. All right, so the installation begins with seven different options for the boot manager. All the popular ones are here. I'm choosing Grub as it is the most preferred choice. And I think you should also go for Grub unless you have a specific niche requirement. Next is the choice of file system. This you get during the disk selection screen. I'm going to select manual partition here as I want a dual boot setup along with Windows operating system. B3FS is the default selected file system for root partition, but you also have option for pretty much all types of file systems that exist out there. And if you're not sure about which file system to choose, I have made a complete video on Linux file systems where I have discussed each file system in detail covering the technology and the advantage and disadvantage of each file system. You can check out the video by clicking on the link on the top right corner. I'm going with the default B3FS for the root partition and I've also created a FAT32 partition of 500 MB as boot partition. Moving on to the next customization option, which is the graphical user interface, also known as the desktop environment. Now there are 17 different desktop environment to choose from and all the popular desktops like GNOME, XFCE, LXD and others are in here. Plasma is the default option and I'm going to go with that. Next, there's also option to install additional packages during the installation if you want to, not changing anything here, leaving it as it is. So as you can see, there are plenty of options for customization so that you can get exactly the type of system that you want. All right, now moving on to the third reason. And for me, it's the biggest one among all the reasons, which is the blazing fast desktop. On first glance, the desktop looks pretty standard plasma desktop, nothing special. But as you work more and more, you really realize that the desktop is a lot faster and snappier than the usual Linux distros. This is because of the customized kernel. Cache OS provides customized kernel with Bohr scheduler, which is optimized for speed. The kernel is tuned and optimized specifically to enhance desktop responsiveness. It achieves this by using custom CPU scheduler without getting too technical. Basically, a CPU scheduler allots time to processes. By default, the scheduler divide available CPU time fairly among all the tasks. However, Cache OS kernel with Bohr scheduler, Bohr stands for Burst Oriented Response Enhancer. This enhances the CPU scheduler algorithm to improve interactivity under heavy workload. Now, all this ultimately results in a faster, seamless and snappier desktop experience. And that's not the only customized kernel available. There's one for almost every type of user requirement. For example, there's one tuned for gaming, there's one for security, low latency, 
server and so on. To know about all the different customized kernel on offer, check out Catchy OS kernel wiki page. The link is in the description below. Now once you have narrowed down your requirement, you can download the required kernel using the Catchy OS kernel manager app. It's as easy as ticking the checkbox and clicking install. That's all. After it completes, restart the system and then at the grub boot manager screen, choose advanced option and then boot through the kernel of your choice. All right, now moving on to the fourth reason, which is the Cache OS optimized repo and specially compiled packages. The repos of Cache OS contains recompiled Arch Linux packages, specifically tweaked to support and take advantage of different CPU architectures and their extended instruction set. This results in additional performance gains on top of the kernel level tweaking, adding to an even faster user experience. Now here is the CPU architecture and the respective gain in performance. The popular testing forum for on have done detailed testing of these packages and their report is on their website though it is of 2022 and not the latest report but it gives you an idea i am putting the link in the description you can check that out all right next and the final reason is the extensible scheduler support which enables you to change and dynamically load kernel thread scheduler without the need to build or install new kernel to do this there is a tool called cache os configure schedule extender now depending upon the kernel you are using you get the option to change the schedule profile to gaming power save server and low latency all you need to do is choose a profile from drop down menu and click apply that's all the scheduler will now prioritize task as per the profile that you selected it cannot get any easier than this all right so that was my top five reasons why cache os is such an impressive distro and why i consider it as the best linux distro of 2025 apart from these five reasons there are many other features of cache os as well i recommend you check out cache os wiki page to find out more about this distro i highly recommend this distro to anyone who wants a powerhouse of a system tuned for speed so go ahead, give this Linux distro a try and let me know your experience. I would love to hear from you. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, press the like button. If you have any comments, suggestion or feedback, do type that in, in the comment box. A huge shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.